The Jungle of French Guiana 90% of the French enclave with a total surface area of 84,000 square kilometers are covered with tropical rainforest. This makes the jungle of French Guiana the largest uninterrupted woodland of the European Union, in theory. In political terms, French Guiana may be a part of France, and thus of Europe. Geographically spoken, it belongs to South America. French Guiana is especially interesting for biologists and fish keepers. There are many endemic animal and plant species, which means that they can only be found here. This applies to several small kerosene species living in jungle pools and creeks. The order of kerosene forms comprises around 1,900 species, most of which are schooling fish and omnivorous eaters of what fits in their mouths. The carnivore piranhas, also found in French Guiana, belong to the kerosene forms as well as the small neon tetra. A little less well known, but at least as interesting, is Copella casavenensis, a splash kerosene hitherto only found in French Guiana. The species lives in sunny and warm areas of smaller flowing waters that often also have plants. Their natural colors are striking. In the aquarium these fish are not that colorful, unfortunately. These fish look very much like the splash kerosene Copella anoldi and their requirements are comparable. Large bright tanks with densely planted areas are preferred. They can be socialized with peaceful fish. Copella casavenensis reaches an adult length of 6 to 7 cm. For breeding the pH has to be lowered until slightly acidic. The carbonate hardness ought to be low too. The fish need broad leaves as spawning substrate. Nanostomo specfordi lives in the same habitat. Golden pencilfish are very suitable for smaller tanks, as they are not very keen swimmers and have a rather calm behavior. Nanostomo specfordi is a typical schooling fish and ought to be kept in groups of at least eight. They prefer small live food, as their mouth is not very white and can be adapted to standard artificial food. They can be socialized with other peaceful fish without any problems. In stagnant or slow-flowing waters, Hufeso brucon, Takasei or coffee bean treacherous are found. They get the trivial name of the typical spot on their site. This omnivore finds ideal living conditions in calm habitats. It has a slightly elevated back. Its basic color is a grayish pink stretching to the caudal, anal and ventral fins. The fins have a cream white to light pink seam. The spot on the shoulder that has given them their tribal name is of a blackish brown. Males and females cannot be discerned at first glance. However, the males stay smaller and have more intensive colors than the stockier females. Coffee bean tetras are especially suitable for social tanks since they are very peaceful. Especially the dark spot on the shoulder is an attractive characteristic in large groups. Those who want to enjoy these kerosenes in their full beauty should keep them in soft, acidic water. However, they also tolerate other water parameters. Some smaller kerosene species have found their ecological niche in larger rivers with strong currents, where they make use of the vast nutrient supply. Their staple food consists of the alfux that grows so abundantly here. Mainly two kerosene species are found here, Astinax leopoldi and Carasidium fastidosale. Astinax leopoldi got its name in honor of the Belgian king Leopold III, who took part in an ichthyological expedition to the Guyanas in 1962. In the habitat, these kerosenes are mostly found in the calmer peripheres of the streams where they live in large groups. Leopold's tetra looks very much like the African kerosenes of the genus Phenacogramus, among which the well-known Congo tetra Phenacogramus interruptus can be counted. Astinax leopoldi is a peaceful schooling fish and an active swimmer. 
Thus, the tank has to be pretty large and has to provide the fish with densely planted sites to give them opportunities to retreat. Feeding is unproblematic as these fish take any food you offer them. They are also reported to have bred in captivity. When changing water, please make sure the pH does not fluctuate too severely. This might cause a shock in the fish, inducing them to change their color to white and, in the worst case, lead to their death. Leopold kerosenes can be socialized with other peaceful species very well. They grow to a length of 5 to 6 cm. Carasidium fastidosale, the data tetra, also lives in this habitat in the strong current. This species is hardly known in aquaristics. They do not have a colorful pattern, but their behavior is highly interesting. They are very well adapted to the strong currents, especially considering their torpedo-like form and the way their fins are arranged. The current keeps them effortlessly down on the substrate where they sit. Keeping them in the tank is possible without problems, however, they have not been reported to be bred in captivity yet.